Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to study performance characteristic of solar cell. So in this video, we are going to study current voltage characteristics regarding solar cell. Now we will observe this graph. Here is the y axis and here is the x axis. That is the current and voltage are getting plotted. Now if we observe what is the characteristics for this current and voltage that means how this current is getting changed with respect to this voltage. Then if we observe here the current stays more or less constant as voltage increases. That means here is the 0, 0 0.20, 0 0.40 that is the voltage V. So here as this voltage increases this current stays more or less constant and then it drops to zero rapidly so if we observe from this point it drops to zero rapidly and here at 0 0.60 volt it becomes zero so at this point if we observe at this point it is it drops rapidly so the it's a intercept on the intercept of this curve on the x axis and y axis so when we plot the intercept on the x-axis. So here on the x-axis voltage V is there. And at the point of intercept we will say here open circuit voltage. And the intercept on the x-axis here that is on the current. So here the short circuit current that is ISC. So this intercept is called as ISC that is short circuit current and open circuit voltage. Now we will move for the next that is the power. So if we observe the power we have to plot here that is on the other side of the current. So this is power in watt. So how this power is getting changed. So power increases more or less linearly from zero. So from zero this power is getting started and it increases more or less linearly and then moves through a or goes through a maximum value and then decreases to zero so here is the maximum value of power and then it decreases to zero so when it decreases to zero at voltage v is equal to voc that is at voltage v is equal to open circuit voltage so at this point it decreases to zero and this is the maximum point of the power so when for this maximum point we will plot this maximum point on the or we will extend this maximum point on the x axis so here is the point of intersection that we that means we will call here as a vm that is the voltage at the point of maximum power so it is called as vm m for maximum now the values of current and voltage at which maximum power occurs are denoted by IM and VM. So here is the point that is called as VM that is the maximum voltage. Now how to plot the IM? So here we have to take the point of intersection for this ISC and this VM. So here is the point of intersection. And if we extend this point of intersection on this Y axis. So it is called as IM. That is the current at maximum power. So it is called as VM and IM. Now how the performance of this solar cell can be calculated. So there is one factor it is called as field factor. So this field factor is regarding Vm VOC that is maximum volt open circuit voltage then maximum current and short circuit current. So with the help of these four points we, ha we have to calculate the field factor. So field factor is equal to Im Vm divided by Isc VOC. So this is the formula for the calculation of field factor. So when we take the good silicon solar cell then this field factor is greater than 0 0.75. So we can understand from this when the answer or the calculation of this field factor is more than 0 0.75 then we can say that it is the good solar cell.